video review for you. At this time, we're taking a look at a figure that I thought I did, but I never did. Uh, this is Transformers Collectors Club uh, subscription service, Scourge. As you can see, he is a repaint of uh, Laser Prime, Reveal the Shield Laser Prime, who has been done many, many, many times already. Uh, he is redone in the Scourge colors, being the very dark black and the teal, and the kind of reddish highlights, the red windows and everything. But, as you can see, he is very, very pretty. Very pretty paint job. Same problems as the other version of this mold. It's hard to get everything lined up properly to get him to roll. But, the wheels spin, so it would technically roll, but it's very hard to get get it to roll. Uh, does have the upside down logos like he's supposed to. Same weapon and everything, just colored differently. A very, very good looking figure. The paint job on this guy is just amazing. The teal, really, 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 it's hard to you can get, hopefully it comes across well on camera, but it is a very, very pretty looking paint job. Uh, there was a problem with this guy uh, in the box. In his, he, they come in regular cardboard boxes with a foam insert with a custom cutout for him. So he just sits in there. Um, unfortunately, they didn't think that through very well. And the tops of the smokestacks end up, yeah. end up getting bumped up and hit the tops of the smokestacks. Hit the top of the cardboard and rub some of the paint off. So basically everybody's has a little bit of, at least a little bit of rub. Mine's not that bad, just a, just a little bit. Again, nothing you can do about it, it's just the way they shipped it and the way they designed it. So yeah. There he is. There's really not a lot to say about him in this mode. Because obviously he's just a repaint. But I just want to show him off, see how very cool he is. And he looks red headlights. Just overall very nice looking. So yeah, I'm not going to show you the transformation because I've already done the transformation before. So just check out one of my other videos to see the uh, of this of this mold to see the transformation. I think I did it with uh, Shadow Glass Prime. So just take a look at that, and you can see the transformation. But uh, yeah, let's get this guy transformed, and uh, we'll take a look at him in robot mode. All right, so here we have Scourge in his robot mode, and again, he is very, very pretty. Uh, you can see the sword is the red, translucent red color of the glass, of the windshield and everything. Very cool looking. Just amazing looking figure. Head sculpt is very cool. It's the same head sculpt, just repainted. But it does look a lot more evil. Is very cool looking, amazing looking figure. Like I've said, you know, the club does not know how to do PR. They do not know how to get figures out to us in a timely manner that they promised. But when they do something right, they can hit it out of the park. I mean, these figures, this guy, uh, Depth Charge, they're all. All these recent figures have been absolutely gorgeous looking. You can see all the teal accents coming through up in the shoulders. On the arms, the forearms, the knees, the thighs. Just overall amazing looking figure. Um, the one thing that's weird is the matrix that's in his chest is in there. Can't really. Can you see it? Yeah, you can kind of see it through there. Um, I understand why it's there because it's cheaper just to keep the same exact mold than to remold more new parts, but again. Just an absolute gorgeous looking paint job on this guy. Absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, if you aren't in, weren't in the club and didn't get this guy, he is extremely expensive. He's going, well, when he first came out, he was going for over 150 bucks on eBay and such. So I have no idea what he's going for now. He might have calmed down and prices might have came down a little bit. But I would assume that this guy's going to hold his value because he just absolutely absolutely gorgeous my uh, my R.I.D. Scourge is actually in package and storage so don't have him to compare him to right now but 
he is very, very similar to him. Very cool paint job. Just overall, overall amazing figure. Um, if you're like I guess, like I said, if you weren't in the sub subscription club, it might not be worth tracking this guy down, unless he's like the only guy you want. In which case, you can spend you know 150 bucks on him. But uh, uh, it's a, it's expensive to get him aftermarket now, so just be aware of that. We yeah, not much else to say about this guy. Just totally awesome looking. Totally awesome. He's he's so superly awesome. All right. This has been the video review for Transformers Collective Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. Scorch.